Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video and today has been an extremely nice day for crypto. I mean, I just took a look at the crypto markets. Bitcoin is up 6%, Ethereum is up 9%, Solana is up 10, ADA is up 10, XRP is up 7, and a couple of our coins which we were buying over the last couple of days. I made a video two days ago about my top 10 alts to buy this dip. Matic and Avalanche are up 20 and 33% respectively. The only coin I think we missed this little dip was Crypto.com, and that's mostly because I didn't notice it was down this much. Another coin in my list was Mana, and there's also Sand VeChain. Let's quickly see how Sand is doing. Only 8% on the upside, but oh boy, oh boy, has this been a juicy, juicy day. So how are our trades doing? What are we expecting? And what is my, I guess, in hindsight as well? Well, so our trades here on XRP and Ethereum are doing really well. I noticed our sand trade also got liquidated, unfortunately. We lost $200 with that. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter as we doubled our money with Ethereum. And we also about doubled our money with XRP by now, which is extremely juicy. Yesterday, I told you all that this is a perfect buying zone for XRP. And if we look back a little bit further, I also told you guys there's two things for XRP to watch. First of all, this little upward sloping line because that's the bigger symmetrical triangle for XRP. Right now, you can see we basically bounced off of that and are coming right back around, which is really juicy to see. But more importantly, the RSI. And from that perspective, I'm even telling my friends and people now, if you're buying right now, still the risk to reward is in your favor. Because with XRP, the RSI is so ridiculously low. Every single time it got that low, the gains were severe over the next couple of days and weeks. Let's look back. Here, the RSI went below 30. That was the low of the, the 22nd of June. The price that was about 50 cents. And over the next couple of days, let's check this out. Over the next couple of days, the price went from that point all the way to about, I don't know, about 43% up or so in that short time frame. Can we get the RSI? Oh, I messed up. I, I took the RSI back. <laughs> I don't know what I did just now. Let's put the RSI back. Maybe I address. Oh, not exactly sure what happened right there, but let's continue on. All right, so the next time, well, the last time it went below it, it's right here. That is the 22nd of December. That's the exact day that they got sued by the SEC. And so the price kind of dipped over the next couple of days. But if we look a couple of weeks further, just a little bit further, look at those gains as well. Almost 300% over the next couple of weeks and so forth and so on. Just start looking back at all the times the RSI hit that low of a figure. Here it did too, I guess, not as low as I would have liked, but okay. And still, if you look back over the next couple of weeks, boom, 100% up over the next month or so. And that continues on. Here we go once more. So the dip right there, you guys get it, right? So from that perspective, I told you all RSI, this is yesterday when I said it, and the day before, I believe as well. <clears throat> from our side perspective, things are really, really juicy to keep on buying even now because the RSI is still at the 30 territory or so. However, this translates also over into Bitcoin because it's showing the exact same thing. The RSI was ridiculously low. Right now, it uh, adjusted a little bit to actually be a little bit more positive because, of course, it takes the end figure of the day. A lot of people are putting in this same little, um, little pennant here over on the Bitcoin price. I would like to kind of skip that and look at the macro, which is right here. We had a nice little bounce for Bitcoin at about $49,000 or so, which is kind of like a, a, a I'm not going to say a double bottom. <clears throat> But basically, another hit at one of our major supports slash resistances in the past. Uh, very nice to see. But more importantly, the RSI, I think. It's just it's one of the most easy indicators to know that we are in a very, very juicy trade. Right here was the last one. I would say for XRP, it's even stronger than that of Bitcoin. But it does show you that if you buy every single time it gets to that area, and you base it upon where the market is about to, basically where the market is going logically, it's, it's just a juicy thing to buy. And it, it kind of feels as if we're just replicating what we saw over here yet again, which means that juicy gains are about to come. Again, I, I'm just telling you guys, a lot of people are putting in the same pennant here, but just copying this over to the move that we're witnessing right now. And if we do, yeah, it, it does look like crazy gains are about to come, and I do follow that. So what is my strategy right now? Well, I have my long positions open. This is the YouTube account. I also have them open on my own account. We're not exactly sure how high we're going to go in the near term because Bitcoin already fell down quite a lot throughout the day here. But there's a couple of really important things to understand. One is right now there's quite a lot of FUD and fear. We talked about it over on the channel. I talked about China. 
I talked about the big event Friday, and I talked about the new variant, which of course are all bearish potentially news. <clears throat> but logically speaking as well, the crypto market shouldn't really react as negatively to any of those events as it has done. And so as long as Bitcoin keeps building here, I do believe the near future is going to be extremely bullish for altcoins. And yes, guys, I'm mostly buying into altcoins right now, not going as heavy on the Bitcoin as I believe altcoin season is around the corner. And we don't know necessarily how amazing Bitcoin is going to do, but we're seeing it again as well. Every single time we get bigger corrections, if we focus on XRP or Matic or Avex or whatever, rather than Bitcoin, the gains usually are more severe. So, yeah, that's what I said. Funny, I actually told one of my people, I, I told you guys during the live stream that we did just before I made this video. Here we went live and a couple of times throughout the day. I told you all, I am also telling my family to buy crypto right now. And one of the fun things is some of my family members don't fully understand yet that you buy when things are dipping. <laughs> one of them actually is asking me now, for example, what to buy. And that's one of the fun contrasts which I see in the comment section quite often too. People like to buy when things are up. Guys, it's about having that faith when things go down. That's the hard part, but that's also where the money lies. If you're looking for the best entry right now, I'm telling you, it is riskier than buying a couple of days ago. And that's why you should listen when people are telling you that the dip is there to be bought, not the gains after the dip. Not any financial advice, but I, I guess logic would suffice right there to say the dip is what you buy and is the whole key to not get too scared or to be like, oh, but maybe we're going to dip further. That's why I put, guys, look back at one of my videos. I told you how much money I put in. Look at how much we're up right now. Just kind of, you know, as fun as well as theorize here. So I think we're up about 24% or so on, ooh, let me turn that sound off, on the majority of coins that I bought in this little time period. Bitcoin is, of course, quite a little bit less. But that basically means we made a couple years salary worth in just two or three days by buying the dip and believing in the dip, so to speak. And, and believing in the dip basically means we understand that it moves in waves. A correction like this is very normal in a bull market, and so we buy that. What are we going to do in the near future? Well, we are preparing for even a bigger dip. I told you guys, I'm not going fully in just quite yet because we're not sure what's going to happen this Friday. This Friday can have some really bullish, really bearish effects on the market, and so we're preparing for it. Right now, if we're taking some gains, it wouldn't be too crazy, but it also wouldn't be too crazy to actually open up more positions as we are basically then putting our faith in a Friday being a positive day. And since we're going to see a very bullish close for Bitcoin today and XRP and for most coins, plus the RSI, it, it still, as I said just now, wouldn't be too crazy to start getting even more bullish. But I noticed a couple of people on YouTube making some very uh, negative videos. For example, for Ethereum here, we're facing some major resistance at 4,400 bucks. I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem because I do feel the, the underlying narrative of people just being not so fearful anymore. Because remember, guys, bull markets end in crazy euphoria, not in negativity and, and scaredness like this. So that's why we're basically putting all our money on the freaking number. Guys, I'm trading over on Bybit. Make sure you check that out. The link is down below. Juicy, juicy trades. And we made these trades together during our live stream. So if you want to also get trades like this done, not trying to brag, not trying to sound cool, make sure you're just subscribed and check back every time we upload another live stream because that is the easiest way to get into this stuff the same way and the same hour and stuff that we do. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you guys again in another crypto video later today.